Give me an S, give me a T, give me an F, give me a U. Hello everyone and welcome to Rap Trends. I'm just a friend, Jordan Burchette. Numerous entertainers came down with violent cases of oral diarrhea this week and leading the discharge was actor Rob Lowe, who defiantly denounced a stigma in today's society that has persisted for too long, the objectification of men on TV. In an interview with Vulture on Tuesday, the star of The Grinder said with regard to the objectification of women, what about the objectification of men? When was the last time you saw Grey's Anatomy? You hear that, ladies? You're equal now, because there's one show that, according to Rob Lowe, objectifies men without further explanation. And to answer your question, Rob, I've never watched Grey's Anatomy, because I'm a man. And it objectifies us. Your joke is spectacular. Just look at what Grey's Anatomy made Rob Lowe do. The show's singular campaign to oppress men has gone on for too long. I'm tired of seeing Seth Rogen naked, Grey's Anatomy. Why is Brad Pitt only ever forced to play an attractive character, Grey's Anatomy? Why don't I ever match with anyone on Tinder, Grey's Anatomy? But Lowe's comments are part of a much larger epidemic. Lena Dunham compared online criticism named at her to an abusive husband. Stop talking. Marianne Cotillard said feminism doesn't create equality, it creates separation. Stop talking. Ben Carson joked about police shootings. Stop talking. Matt Damon suggested that gay actors and actresses keep their sexual identities to themselves. Stop talking. I said, Matt Damon isn't anti-gay, he's just old. Please stop talking. But speaking as news editor at a website that lives and dies by what celebrities say, please keep talking. So, should our Hollywood stars be seen and not heard? Or are the fruits of our culture fertilized by celebrity mouth poop? Dump your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Jordan Burchette. Thanks for watching Rap Trends. See you next time. Oh, okay.